Hi, now we have this project with a bunch of files into the SRC subfolder and we are making all the magic the magic inside of the index.js which is the entry of the uh, webpack system uh, so if we need to use different scenes we need to put things into the scene and take off put things into the scene we need to handle that situation and that's why in this lesson we are going to build a an scene system so to do that we are going to create a, a folder named scene system let me see scene system yeah and here we are going to create a master scene which is going to be a kind of abstract class where we can extend functionality from so we're going to create a master scene module.js and let's see we're going to use our secret magic ID <laughs> trick master scene and we are going to create a master scene but we were not going to use an instance here so uh, in the constructor method okay we are going to use the open and the close uh, method we are going to overwrite those methods but in the constructor we are going to set some attributes properties some properties in order to help the ide uh, suggest us uh, the names of the properties we are going to work on uh, so the first one is the instance name instance name which is going to be by default null the second one is the scene handler scene handler which is going to be also null so one method we need to create here is the method to string to string and we need to return do you think what can you guess the instance name and we need to write also a setter for this uh, attribute so we are going to write the set instance name method that is going to set the instance name <coughs> property with the variable instance name that we are going to receive as a parameter in this method and we need to do the same with the scene handler so we need to write the method set scene handler and we are going to set guess the scene handler which is going to be a variable that we are going to receive as a parameter that's all for this class so now we need to create the scene handler which is the key class of this system we are going to create a new file name it scenehandler.js and we are going to create a class name as well in that, with, that, with, that, with that name so this is going to have only one method after the constructors and uh, the method is going to be go to famous go to <laughs> but no worries it is not the that go to so we are going to use the prev uh, scene that we are going to set uh, place in the prep attribute which is going to be null at the beginning and we are going to receive an send list that we are going to set in a property this 
in this way and we are going to iterate using object dot keys of this scene list and we're going to iterate it using for each we're going to get the keys and we are going to so go for every element of the list and we are going to call the method set instance name set instance instance name and we're going to send as a parameter the key the key of the scene list so and then the, we will see what how is the the scene list uh, but in the in the next step now we need to continue with the go to well, that is going to receive as a parameter the scene name but it, we are going to check if this prep is that doesn't exist doesn't exist so if this is oh, okay sorry if the prev is not null so if that exists we are going to call this prev thing and we are going to name call execute the close method so because when we go to one scene we need to close the previous so that's why we are closing this one but in some some moment the previous uh parameter the previous scene had to be set on this attribute in some way so this is the line that we are going to use the scene list we are going to use the scene name as a key and we set the that attribute in that way so now we need to use the current the current scene in order to open it so we need to call the open method and we need to do uh, we need to set the event hand the stance the scene handler the scene handler and we are going to pass it the same instance in order to allow to every scene go to the next one using this system so now we can write a folder with the name demo that will contain a file name send list let me check send list.js that will contain a set list which is an object that we are going to export by default and that will contain a, a scene the scene is not <laughs> made so we need to do it right now so we are going to create a scene named scene demo a dot js that will extend scene demo a scene demo a that will extends from extends from master scene <coughs> so this is going to all, uh, override the open method and the close close method and is going to have let me check let me remember yeah we are not going to use the constructor method yeah we just make in this case here is the place that we are going to put all this functionality all this one so he exactly right here in the line five but at the moment we are going to avoid that process and we're going to just write uh, the thing name it uh, this instance names is opening we're going to do the same when this one is going to closing closing 
so we are going to go to from the scene A to scene B so we are going to duplicate this class and we are going to remain, rename it this scene let me copy the name here here mm. oh, camel case um yeah but when we are opening we are going to put a timer a timeout set timeout for about five seconds and here we are going to use the uh, scene handler and we are going to call the go to and here we we have to pass uh, an string but Take it easy, we will do it in the next step, but before that we are going to create, no, we have done our list, but the list is empty at the moment, so we are going to try to load the scene demo A, why we have only the B, let me take this, we can do something like this, like using the key as a string and the object and the instance as a, as a value or straight we can use this way <laughs> but let me check why this one wasn't appear in the suggestion scene name uh, yeah demo a so we can use this one yeah oops wait 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 comma yeah so now here inside of the scene we can use that object scene list and go to the scene B for example we can do the same in the scene B we can go back to the scene A let me check let me do it let me see why it doesn't appear why it doesn't appear the scene A scene, let me go to the scene okay we need to in list yeah and after that yeah we can get the a after load the scene list we can access it so now we are ready to test this system out with the demo information the demo scene and the demo list demo 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 list so the way we need to test this app is replacing the whole functionality we have here in the index.js and now we have to create a scene handler which it will be a new scene handler and let me load it why this is not loaded automatically ah because we need to export a default uh, scene handler I missed this step many times so we here now we can access to it and we have to pass in the constructor method the scene list that we have already created and after that we can use the scene handler in order to go using the go to method to the scene list sorry not this variable to the scene list to uh, we can choose one of those scene for example scene a so if everything is okay and there is no mistyping and if i i am not missing nothing we can run npm run build and we can just build the server up and see what happened on the console we are going to refresh it say the scene scene demo a is opening and it's closing a is closing and open b b is closing and open a a is closing and open b and so on so this is the system that allows us a change a uh, swap a scenes uh, automatically in an organized way so that's all by now 
thank you for staying here stay tuned and see you in the next lesson bye